All right, everyone, as promised from Turf Tamers, and I promise not to butcher his last name, uh, Mike Savalison, owner of Turf Tamers. So good morning, Mike. Good morning. Uh, first time on Real Estate Radio? It is. Perfect. Probably a long-time listener, first-time caller. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> Mike, where are you from? Tell, tell us a bit about your background. Where'd you grow up, and how'd you end up with Turf Tamers? Okay. I'm from Fargo. Lived here my whole life. Uh, parents have lived in the same house since the day they were married, so <laughs> haven't that, gone That far. ruins our average uh, uh Yeah, average it does. Years. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not a huge customer of yours. That, so. No, that's okay. I'm uh, <laughs> Boy, there's there's great validity in staying where you're at. So you grew up in Fargo, and then you've just always been here? Yep. I've always lived in Fargo, went to school at NDSU. Um, no bison. Sorry. Yeah, I, exactly. I can't, I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I guess how I started, I started mowing in my neighborhood um, when I was young. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I've kind of went back, and I think I had my first business card at nine years old. Um, hmm. And then through college, um, that was in the spring of 09 uh, when we had the flood. Right. Um, actually decided to dive in full time. Um, I, I was going to school for law enforcement and decided to kind of ax that and go full time on lawn care and landscaping. So. Uh, well, what a what a great thing. And so tell us about Turf Tamers because you said lawn care and landscaping, two uh, very different types of companies. Yep. Definitely. One is a, a more service orientated and one is a, you know, a construction based uh, mm-hmm. company. So we obviously started out with the maintenance and mowing, um, got into snow removal, which is mm-hmm. the typical. Um, you have to, right? Yep, I mean, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Keep busy for five months out of the year. Um, and then basically how we dived or dove into um, the landscaping was based on our customers. Mm-hmm. We had customers that said, hey, can you come and replace some shrubs? And and then, it, you know, hey, can right. you replace place this? And we had others that built new houses and they wanted us to, um, you know, do some of the landscaping. So we basically evolved with our customers' needs um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then have basically got uh, – Turned into a full full service lawn care landscaping and snow removal company. Uh, well, what a what a great gig uh, to be able to do and to work outside and and, and to to get awkward suntans uh, yeah. <laughs> throughout, throughout the year. But Mike, uh, people maybe want to hire you, maybe they don't. And this isn't meant to be a sales pitch. Instead, it's meant to be a time to educate our folks. And so, right now, uh, end of March, early April, what should people be doing for their yards? Whether they hire it out or do it themselves? Yep, definitely. Um, we have customers in both cases, mm-hmm. you know, that, mm-hmm. that want us to do everything and like to do a lot of their own. Um, in the early spring, uh, they say spring and fall is the best time to do your yard work where you can make a, a big difference in okay. the yard, uh, whether it be fertilization, um, aerations, um, dethatching, pulling all that dead grass and mulch up in the spring mm-hmm. is a great, great mm-hmm. tool. Um, it's going to allow that grass uh, basically a kickstart for the for the entire year. Uh, get some nutrients and water and air down to the roots, which they need that to right. to grow and become healthy. Right. Those of you tuning in, Mike Savalison. There, did I did I say it right? Savalison. 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 Yep. I I've been drinking all morning, folks. It's a difficult <laughs> last name to say. No. In, in all seriousness, from Turf Tamers, Mike is joining us, and uh, spring is here. And so, Mike, we're taking a look here. Uh, I look at the boulevard. And the boulevard always seems dirtier than the rest of my yard. Yep. What's the solution? So there's a few different ways you can go about that. Um, Just raking it is going to help pull some of that sand and grime and dirt up. Um, Another thing we do is we sweep them. We have uh, what we call like a power sweeper uh, where you can sweep up some of that sand and grime. It's like a vacuum. Yep. uh, In a sense, yeah. Um, You know, that there's a lot of chemicals that go into... um, the sands and the salts that the the city and state puts down, mm-hmm. um, and that none of that is good for the grass. So if you can get out there right away in the spring and get rid of it, it's really going to help your okay. your boulevard. Is it too soon right now? I mean, it, 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 there's still a tissue. I mean, snow is melting. Uh, if, if it was piled up, maybe it's still there. It's probably still just a hair too soon yep. right now. Yep, it definitely is. Okay. Um, you you want to wait. What kind of a rule of thumb that we use when you start to see the grass. St- Turn green. Yep. Not a full on green grass, right. but when you One start to a- ablate. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And and your temperatures are you know in the 40s and 50s. Not, it's not, not freezing at night. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. When when you're getting sustained <clears throat> temperatures above <clears throat> freezing, that's when you can start, you know, hitting your yard. Uh, not to say you can't start 
some work on the yard, you know, cutting some of your perennials, um, mm-hmm. your seasonal grasses, things like that. Now, are you recommending that the perennials, we trim those down quite a bit? Because my wife and I, uh, we bought our place five or six years ago now. It kind of blends together. I think it was five years ago. Uh, and we have this one plant that was new, uh, and we never trimmed it. Now it's turned into like the little shop of horrors, Audrey, too. Like it is just grown and grown and grown. Yep. And then someone's like, you just trim that down before it ever starts to grow. Yep. So, you know, a lot of perennials, they'll become healthier when you do trim them back. So mm-hmm. say that that shrub or bush is too big and you right. want to get rid of it, um, you know, cutting it way back. It may come back twice as big, but um, <laughs> so so I will find out here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely a great time to do it. Um, you know, your seasonal grasses look great throughout the mm-hmm. winter. Mm-hmm. Um, right now is a a good time to cut them down, um, and they'll come back uh, within a couple months of spring. Now, uh, I want to talk about this, and I'll close our time together uh, with this thought. Uh, Mike, curb appeal is the thing that matters most because it's a first impression piece, right? Let, let's go back. Are you married? I am not. Okay. Well, on the prowl, ladies and gentlemen, Mike, <laughs> available. Uh, I go back to my times maybe in college, and I'm lucky to be married now, but I, I think about those dating times in college, right? Like there may be somebody really great out there, but if they don't have the right kind of curb appeal, it's difficult to start that conversation, yep. right? In real estate, photos matter and curb appeal matters. And whether you're selling or not, that curb appeal really matters, how your lawn and your landscaping shines. And yep. so what you're doing is you're essentially uh, the cosmetic, uh, like you're the cosmologist of yards. Yep. Um, there's, and you may correct me if I'm wrong, but they say um, landscaping and kitchens and bathrooms are what sells houses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um Great realtors are what sell houses. Oh, no. that, that as well. <laughs> um, so like you said, someone's not going to stop and open up the house if the outside looks yeah, horrible. Yeah, you just you don't even bother with it. Yep, you know? exactly. So, you know, um, if you invest the money in the outside, I think you get that return on the investment. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, here's, here's what we know, Mike, is that most of our listeners aren't going to be moving this year. But if you want that pretty yard, that great landscaping, if you want your house to shine. If you're thinking about selling, yeah, you better do this, right? But if you're if you just want to live in a really great place and you're not going to move, consider hiring somebody great. And I think that Turf Tamers has a fabulous reputation or do it yourself. It's it's a little for everyone. So uh, Mike, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, what's the best way to do so? On our website, turftamersfargo.com or else you can call our office at 701 701- Three five six two nine nine zero. Perfect, Mike. Thanks so very much, folks. I got some landscaping to do because I am no good at that stuff, so I better hire it out for somebody <laughs> like Mike. In the meantime, head to livefargamorehead.com. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch.